Have you ever wondered how solar flares affect Earth? These mesmerizing cosmic phenomena aren't just captivating to the eye. They hold a profound impact on our planet. Solar flares are sudden, intense releases of energy on the sun's surface. Imagine a sudden burst, a flare, if you will, of energy that's so potent it leaves the sun and travels across the vast expanse of space. These flares are often linked with the magnetic activities in the sun's atmosphere. They're like the sun's own fireworks display but on a scale that's beyond our comprehension. The energy they carry and release, the stunning spectacle they create is nothing short of otherworldly. But these aren't just beautiful cosmic events. They hold significant implications for our planet and life as we know it. So, what happens when these solar flares reach our planet? Well, let's delve deeper into this cosmic mystery and unravel the effects of solar flares on Earth. Imagine an invisible force from the sun reaching Earth radiation. During a solar flare and incredible outpouring of energy from the sun's surface, this radiation is emitted across a broad spectrum. From the low-frequency hum of radio waves to the high-intensity crackle of X-rays, this celestial light show is more than just a spectacle. Now this might sound alarming but don't fret. Our Earth is equipped with its own protective shield, a thick blanket of atmosphere. It filters out most of the harmful radiation, letting only a fraction reach our planet's surface. This natural barrier is our first line of defense against these solar emissions, making sure that life as we know it can thrive. But every so often, the sun flexes its muscles a bit too much. A particularly intense solar flare can unleash an energy burst so powerful that it seeps through our atmospheric shield. But what if the flare is particularly powerful? Solar flares give rise to something known as solar winds. Imagine the sun exhaling a gust of charged particles traveling at high speeds across the vast expanse of space. These streams of particles primarily made up of electrons, protons, and alpha particles are what we call solar winds. Now these winds don't just dissipate into the void of space, instead they embark on an interplanetary journey, and our home planet, Earth, is one of their frequent stops. When these solar winds arrive at Earth they encounter our planet's magnetic field, a protective shield that largely prevents these particles from reaching the surface. However, the solar winds can still influence this magnetic field. They can compress it on the side facing the sun and extend it on the opposite side, creating what's known as a magnetotail. This interaction is a crucial part of what makes our planet so unique in the solar system. And when these solar winds meet our atmosphere the spectacle can be breathtaking. When solar winds interact with Earth's atmosphere, they can lead to magnetic storms. This celestial dance between the sun's charged particles and our planet's magnetic field creates a spectacle of lights and shadows. At high latitudes, these interactions paint the night sky with dancing ribbons of light, known as auroras. These breathtaking displays, known as the northern and southern lights, are a visible testament to the sun's influence on our planet. Yet this beautiful ballet of light and shadow has a darker side. The same magnetic storms that give rise to these auroras can also wreak havoc on our technological infrastructure. They can induce electrical currents and power lines, causing blackout and damage to electrical transformers. Moreover, they can interfere with telecommunication systems, disrupting everything from cell phone signals to GPS navigation. Satellites too are vulnerable to these solar wind-induced storms, with the potential for significant damage. This interaction can also cause some disruptions, especially in our communication systems. The high-energy radiation during solar flares can have short-term effects on radio communication. Picture this. You're tuning into your favorite radio station, but all you catch are static and garbled sounds. This could be the result of solar flares disrupting radio waves. These high-energy radiations can cause significant changes in the Earth's ionosphere, the layer of the atmosphere that reflects radio waves. This can lead to a temporary blackout of high-frequency radio communication, affecting everything from emergency services to aviation. Now let's consider the silent specter hovering above us, our satellite systems. These technological marvels are particularly vulnerable to solar flares. The charged particles from solar flares can cause physical damage to the satellite's electronics. They can also induce errors in the data being transmitted, leading to what is known as bit flips. The impact can be far-reaching. It can disrupt GPS systems, television broadcasts, and even scientific research. Imagine being lost without your GPS or missing the season finale of your favorite show. That's the power of a solar flare. But fear not, we are not defenseless against this silent threat. Satellites are equipped with protective shielding and error-checking software to mitigate the damage. 
Moreover, space weather forecasts help provide early warnings to take precautionary measures. The silent threat of solar flares to radio communication and satellite systems is real, but with our understanding and preparedness, we're not left in the dark. But it's not just our technology that can be affected. Solar flares can elevate radiation levels during air travel, especially for flights at high latitudes. Now this might sound alarming but let's break it down. When a solar flare occurs, it spews out a surge of electromagnetic radiation. This radiation, while mostly absorbed by our Earth's protective atmosphere, can still penetrate to the altitudes where commercial airplanes fly. This means that during a solar flare, passengers and crew on board an airplane could be exposed to elevated levels of radiation. Here's where it gets interesting. The higher the latitude, the thinner the atmosphere, and the more radiation can seep through. So, flights that traverse the poles, such as those between North America and Asia or Europe are more susceptible to this radiation influx. But fear not, airlines and aviation authorities are well aware of this invisible danger. They closely monitor space weather forecasts, and if a significant solar flare event is predicted, they can alter flight paths or altitudes to minimize exposure to this solar radiation. Furthermore, the interiors of airplanes are designed to provide some level of shielding against radiation. And of course, the duration of exposure matters. A single flight during a solar flare event won't expose passengers to dangerous levels of radiation. It's the frequent flyers and crew members who need to be more cautious. So, the next time you're jetting off, remember this. Solar flares, while fascinating, are a force to be reckoned with. We've journeyed through the different ways solar flares interact with our planet. Let's take a moment to recap. Solar flares, these sudden intense bursts of energy from the sun's surface, emit a broad spectrum of electromagnetic radiation. This radiation ranging from radio frequencies to X-rays can influence our planet in various ways. The birth of solar winds, charged particles zooming from the sun, is a direct result of these flares. Once these winds interact with Earth's atmosphere, they can sway our magnetic field, leading to magnetic storms. These storms may paint beautiful auroras high in the sky, but can also disrupt our technological infrastructure, affecting telecommunication systems, satellite systems, and power lines. High-energy radiation during solar flares can tamper with radio communication and potentially damage satellites. Moreover, these flares can increase radiation levels during air travel, particularly at high latitudes. While our Earth's atmosphere and magnetic field largely protect us, it's crucial to continue monitoring space weather to stay prepared and safeguard our planet.